Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tina. Um, I'm just here to bring you my latest digital kit. So this one is um, a huge kit. It's 24 pages. It's called Amongst the Amethyst. Um, really love it. Really pretty colours. Obviously, you know, purples and kind of mauves and things, as the title suggests. So if I just kind of give you a run through, um, and as is the case of late, I haven't had a chance to actually play with this kit at the moment. Um, I've said this a couple of times, you know, I'm just kind of going where the feeling's taking me. So at the moment, I'm loving kind of doing the digital creations and things. Um, not overly having time to obviously kind of produce anything much with them. Um, but, you know, I was excited to obviously come on and show you my, you know, my creations. So if we start with the uh, background papers, you've got eight background pages. So they come or the actual download comes in two PDF files. There's one for the background pages and there's one for what I'm calling the main body of the kit. And the reason that I do that is because then you can set your printer to the borderless settings when you print the background pages. And obviously then you get it right nicely up to the edge of the paper. So this is the first one. Gorgeous, gorgeous images. The next one. The next one. I think the problem is with the digital designing, I kind of don't know when to stop. Um, hence the kits kind of turn out so humongous really, but I have such fun kind of creating them that then I don't know kind of where to stop. So uh, they turn out kind of huge, but I mean, obviously, you know, you can just print a proportion of it. You don't have to print the entire thing. Uh, I've tried to do the papers so that you've got kind of slightly different things you know, um, rather than kind of the same colourway back to back, so that if you printed it two-sided, you know, you wouldn't have identical type colours front and back. So, for instance, you know, you may print those back to back like that. But, I mean, the whole kit, I like to think, kind of coordinates really nicely and uh, goes really well kind of all together. I have coffee dyed a couple of images with it as well, just to kind of see how they look and they looked beautiful as well so that's your eight background pages then your main body of the kit on the first page you've got these gorgeous um, postcards so really pretty images and I've used here these beautiful vintage ladies um, from some gorgeous vintage fashion plates that I bought recently well actually quite a long time ago now but I had been you know um, hoarding them in my stash so I wanted to do something kind of really special with them. So I have um, finally started kind of using them in my digital kind of creations, really. So here you've got obviously some more bits and bobs. You've got a round um, ticket there and a row of tickets here. Then on this page, you've got here one of those little banners and a kind of um, stationary kind of item. Then here you've got um, pockets, so you've got a pocket here, and obviously you just fold down in the obvious places, you've got a little tag there. Now I've just printed this kit on um, 160 GSM white cardstock, and I printed the background pages just on normal, you know, regular copy paper, so nothing kind of special there. Um, again, obviously another pocket here. I just love, um, you know, how these images have turned out. They're just so pretty. And then here we've got another pocket here. Big tag and a kind of ticket. Another journaling card down there. Then here you've got a kind of um, coin envelope or a wage, wage envelope. And obviously you just bend along or, you know, fold across kind of in the obvious places. And then you've got a ticket here, another round tag, another little banner, and another little round piece here. And then here, <coughs> you've got another one of those kind of coin envelopes. I'm not sure whether they're coin envelopes or wage envelopes, but anyway, another one of those. Got a little flower on the tab. And you've got the fold lines actually on this one to make it slightly easier. And you've got some more tickets. And then here, you've got another coin envelope with the folds in the kind of obvious places, kind of matching little journaling card. And you've got some words here and another row of tickets. These are slightly different colorway to the other ones. 
And here you've got another one of those coin envelopes with just some more little kind of images and tags and things. And then here you've got an envelope. And again, you just obviously fold it in the kind of obvious places. And it's just got a little kind of bits on the tab. And then a little kind of banner type item and a couple of tickets here. And then I thought was super fun to include is these beautiful um, women. So I've taken the vintage images of the ladies that have been used in the kit and just literally um, included some for you to kind of fussy cut out. And they just look so awesome, just popped onto a page. So you could just fussy cut these out, you know, distress ink them slightly and then just pop them on a page just with a piece of lace or anything around. So I thought they were really awesome to um, include. So you have a page of those. And then kind of towards the back end of the um, body of the kit. So there's 16 pages of that. And the last three pages are what I would call kind of stationary kind of um, items. So more kind of like folding pieces or maybe you would use them as journaling mats. But these larger kind of items here so you could kind of cut them down and then fold them as kind of letters or make envelopes from them, however you want really. But again, all kind of perfectly coordinating with the rest of the kit. And you've got three pages of those, so you've got six pieces in total. So really pretty um, kit. And i just quickly, just quickly give you a kind of, um, you know, overview of you know I will just pick randomly an item from the kit so if we just take for instance this page here and I haven't planned this or anything so we're a bit kind of going off winging it here but just want to kind of give you an idea kind of how things will look on a page so just cut around your pocket really not making a very good job of this because obviously I am just um, you know kind of rushing really but just wanted to kind of give you a bit of an idea there how things would look kind of being used on the page so just fold them over and again I mean I would just fold these down roughly here and I've just got these pages here, which obviously they're not in a journal or anything, but just to give you a bit of an idea, you could kind of pop a little flower on, you could have a little button on there. You could just pop a bit of lace trim down. And actually, if I just get the page of the ladies. So for instance, this one, if I just cut out these two bits here. So you've got here this one, just a kind of journaling card. And then if you can see there, it's just got one of the ladies on there in the corner. And then there's a ticket here with another one of the ladies. Just cut her out. Like that. So 
sorry, I know this is probably like watching paint dry, actually watching me cut the um, images. And I did have a comment recently um, from from somebody who it, it would have probably really upset me kind of um, a few months ago. I kind of tried to shrug it off um, when I read it, but she um, just kind of said, oh, I was interested in this idea, but 50 minutes of chat, I just, um, you know, couldn't bear to watch kind of thing. So my son, who obviously thought he would stick up for his mum, kind of replied to her comment and just said, don't say anything, you know, if you can't say anything nice, kind of don't say anything at all. Uh, to which she kind of replied with a really long reply about, um, you know, that I spent far too much time chatting and I was very disorganised and, you know, that I should kind of appreciate that I have a lot of competition and... You know, people aren't going to want to watch me if I, <laughs> I'm very disorganised and things like that. And, um, I mean, obviously, you know, I think I've mentioned before, when I had my first thumbs down, I was so upset and, um, you know, kind of couldn't believe it. I have tried to kind of rationalise a little bit and, you know, this particular lady, I did kind of have a look and she, she doesn't post videos herself. And, you know, in my defence... <laughs> not saying that I am very organised, of course I'm not, but, you know, equally, these videos take a long time to put together, you know, although they don't come across very organised, they do obviously take quite a bit of kind of pre-organising, you know, before filming, they then take quite a bit of clearing up afterwards, you have to edit the video, you have to upload the video, you have to spend the time filming the video, um, you know, and it's quite kind of hurtful because, um, I mean, she kind of said, I have competition like Tim Holtz, and, you know, of course, I don't for one minute think that I'm competing, I don't think I'm competing with anybody, you know, I just thought I was on here, you know, um, sharing my hobby with kind of fellow hobbyists, but, you know, her um, comment, nonetheless, kind of, I guess, like, hit a nerve, and I thought, oh. You know, and I obviously for one minute do not think that I'm competing with the likes of Tim Holtz or, or anyone else. You know, I, it's, it's not a case of competing. I just honestly thought that we were all on here kind of sharing our hobbies. And, um, you know, as I say, the videos, they do take quite a lot of time. They take a lot of preparation. And, you know, to be fair, they take quite a lot of kind of courage to actually put yourself out there and do them. Um, you know, and obviously there's millions of YouTubers so you know if she doesn't like kind of watching my chit chat then of course she can watch somebody else you know but I mean obviously it kind of makes you a little bit paranoid then and kind of I had a comment just before Christmas also telling me my video was too chattery um you know but I mean that's kind of me and I I don't want to be doing a video in silence because I would feel very bored and boring you know I don't really like watching silent videos, so, uh, I, you know, I guess each to their own, but, you know, you can't help to take it a little bit to, to heart, really. Anyway, enough of my ranting. I was just kind of just sharing those things with you while I was just doing some fussy cutting, so more, more chatter there. So, obviously, you've just got um, these ladies that you can just fussy cut their mouse and obviously pop them in your journal as well. So, for instance, on this pocket, you could obviously glue this down, you know, you could even have the flower kind of there to the side. Excuse me, I've still got this horrible virus. Um, and then you could kind of have one of the fussy cut ladies just kind of poking out there. And then obviously pop your ticket and your journaling card in there. Or equally, you know, you could pop down one of the ladies onto the pockets, you know. Or indeed onto, onto the journaling card. So I just wanted to kind of um, share those couple of, you know, ideas with you, really. I thought it was kind of exciting to, you know, include the ladies for you to kind of um, pop into your projects. I think they're kind of fun. So, yeah, I hope that you like the kit. Obviously, it's available in my Etsy shop. Um, hopefully, I will kind of get a design team together and, um, you know, hopefully be able to kind of showcase my work a little bit, you know, or the um, kits 
through other people's work really um you know as well as obviously using them myself kind of once things slow down a little bit so yeah thank you very much for your time and um thanks for watching so i will catch you later thank you bye